All right, everybody, this is Eternal Blade here with a quick 3DS Max modifier tutorial. So, 3DS Max has a host of modifiers here, and a lot of them are underused. So, we're going to go ahead and just take a look at one specific modifier today, which is going to be the cap holes modifier. So, I've just created a simple scene here with a box. Um, subdivided into three segments each side as well as a hole on the top with it kind of bulged out. So let's go ahead and just render this out real quick and see what we get. So you can see that we've got basically smooth shading on the entire top surfaces of both of these elements. So let's apply a cap holes modifier to this first one. So immediately you can see that it caps the hole on top. And if we render it out, you see that the outside edges are one smoothing group and the middle is another smoothing group. So that's because we have these smooth new faces surface group on. If we uncheck that, you shouldn't notice any difference because it's already its own smoothing group. Now if we check smooth with old faces and we re-render, you can immediately see it now blends in nicely. You can actually see that interaction in the viewport with the shading and the triangulate cap option will actually split your top polygon into triangles if you're trying to work with a game ready mesh or something along those lines to where you need tries instead of quads. Now over here you can see there's a slightly bigger hole so let's go ahead and apply the cap modifier, cap holes modifier to this polygon or this um, object and see what it does. So you can see again we have our smoothing groups the way they are and if we check smooth with old faces, you'll see that we have a nice smooth transition and it even transitions into the side here. Now that's because not only is it trying to smooth with the top polygons here, this is also connected to the side. So it's trying to blend it in between this edge. That's, that way we get sort of a smooth edge transition there instead of a harder transition. All right, and again, the triangulate cap feature will cap both of these so it'll make nice quads and then divide them into tries which will just help improve the topology of your mesh if that's the look you're going for and that's what your game engine or whatever your final product uh, needs. So with that being said I hope you guys learned something there on one of the uh, unused 3ds Max modifiers. So I will see you guys next time and happy modeling.